Hello, welcome to Don Amots. My name's Adam. Today I'm going to be showing you around one of our latest arrivals. It's a 2021 Swift Ace Ambassador. Nice little two berth caravan, very lightweight. Nice layout with an end washroom and it's in really, really nice condition. So let's have a look around and see what you've got. In the front here you have a locker where you've got your two gas bottles in there and there's plenty of storage as well. We do have a solar panel on the roof. Um, we've got the vent for your Truma heating, so it's the blown air heating system. Um, your water intake there and your leisure battery and hookup point is just in that box just there. We've got alloy wheels and down there you can see we've got a motor mover as well. And we've got your fridge and freezer vents on the side here. Moving further down you've got your toilet chemical which goes in there and the toilet cassette lives just in there. It's the dirty job. Round onto the back we have fittings for a bike rack so if you want to add one to it. It's just four bolts to add your bike rack onto the back. And then round onto the near side, you've got your awning rail which goes all the way around. Awning lights at the top. Again, you can see your alloys and your motor mover down there. We've got a, an external main socket, so if you're outside or you're in your awning, you want to plug something in, you can. Um, storage locker, which is underneath one of your front benches. We'll see that on the inside in a minute. And we have a, an external gas barbecue point, so you can just hook your gas bottle, straight, your barbecue, sorry, straight up to the side of your van. You don't have to mess around with your gas bottles. So, um, the weight of the caravan, maximum weight is 1,250 kilos, so it's relatively lightweight. If you do want us to do a tow check, see if your car can tow it safely, give any of the sales team a call, we can answer them questions for you. Coming inside. So, down at the front of the van, you've got the lounge area and the sleeping area. So the great thing with this layout is you can either use it as two single beds if you want to, if you don't want to make a bed up. If you do, it just pulls out from the centre at the bottom here, pulls down and your cushions fall into the middle to make a nice big double bed. We've got loads of storage all the way around the van. The um, solar controller and more storage at the front. You can't quite see that, but it does open that way. We've got blinds and fly screens on all your windows. Fly screens pull down blinds pull up uh, and then round at the front we've got some power points you've got plug sockets we've got usb points great for charging your devices we've got occasional table which pulls out nice big deep drawer all your literature's in there so all the handbooks and everything for the van and then we've got more storage underneath underneath this bench you'll see the locker that we saw from the outside so you can get to it from inside or outside yeah. And there will be some storage on this side not quite as much because you've got some of your boiler parts and your control units in there but there is still storage your boiler drain off points down there as well more storage lockers all the way along and then we come to your kitchen so we'll start at the top we've got your microwave it's all built in we've got more storage in there plate racks cup holders things like that and then down onto the work surface you've got your light switches Plug sockets for kettle toast or anything like that. Nice big sink with your worktop extensions. There's plenty of room for pre preparing your food. You've got a three ring gas hob. We've got a separate grill, separate oven. There's plenty more storage all the way around the van. And then we've got your three way fridge with freezer compartment just at the top up there. It runs off gas, electric, and you do have a travel mode as well. Spinning around this way, you've got a, a TV point just there. Nice extra work surface space and loads more storage down there. And then we'll go down to the rear of the van. You've got the end washroom. Let Wendy go in. So you've got toilet. You've got really big wardrobe. Just in there with hanging rail, TV aerials in there, loads of storage. Nice big sink and mirror. More storage underneath. And then we've got a full size separate shower cubicle, as you can see there. Very generous for a two berth van. And then your freestanding table just there, you can use it inside or outside the van as yeah. well. So it's just arrived here at Don Amots. If you've got any questions, my name's Adam. Please give us a call before you come down and see it. Uh, we're all really helpful and we're all more than happy to help. Thank you.